Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face of Wet n Wild, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I think I have everything except for a loose setting powder. I have something I'm going to kind of try to work, and it's Wet n Wild. But I don't have a setting powder, and I think I have everything else. So if you want to see what look I come up with, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with the eyes. And to prime my eyelids, I'm actually going to be using the concealer I'll be using. Um, I've never used this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Um, it looks like this in the packaging. Let's see. What shade I got? Um, I got Fair Beige. Um, and I got this mainly based on the undertone. It wasn't like the lightest they had um, on the display, but the undertone looked a little better for me. It's a little pinky, um, so we'll see. Um, I don't understand what's going on with like the controversy with Wet n Wild and cruelty free and whether they are or not. I know it had something to do with them being in China. I don't know, but I know it says cruelty free. And then they like have been talking about it more. I I don't know. Supposedly they are. Almost say I don't know. But I'm still using their products. Not to say that I approve of using products on animals, but they do say they're cruelty free. Like I just don't know the details so I didn't buy mine in China so I assume the stuff sold in America is still cruelty free right you're probably like Christina it's a Monday yeah well it's my Sunday so fuck off let me eat let's do one eyelid at a time just see how it spreads out uh, it's not too thin, not too thick, which I'm sure helps you guys a lot. And I'm not going to set this. Um, it's just something I've been trying. I've heard a couple people uh, saying they don't set theirs anymore, so we're going to try that. I do have two Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. The first one I have is the Rosé in the Air, which this is the one that like everyone says is a dupe or like a good close drugstore match to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which looks like this. And then I have this quad. I think this shade is like walking on eggshells or I don't remember the sticker is gone. I'll link it down below or post it down below. It looks like this. Um, I think I'm probably going to go with the Rosé and Air one, but I just wanted to show you. So let's start. I am going to start with this like camel shade right here, the transition shade. It's a little dark, but we're going to use it. <clears throat> I'm going to put this into the crease. Like I said, I did not set. Supposedly it helps things pop. I was fearing that it would be patchy if you didn't set it, but it looks fine. I mean, it's blending out as it normally would. So, so far so good. I'm gonna try to keep it simple today because I'm not going anywhere. Does that surprise you? Probably not. Hmm. Don't mean to like just lay that color right there, right above my crease. Not where I needed it. All right, 
Let's go in. No, they don't have shenanigans. I didn't think they did. Um. <clears throat> There's only so many looks you can create with this because I feel like you have your like your cooler tones, like the purple and like berry color with this transition shade, and then you have your warm tones, which is what I went with with this transition shade. Um, I think I'm gonna kite, kite. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this uh, look pretty matte and simple. So I'm gonna go in with this maroon shade up here, and we are going to put that into the crease and such. And then a little further down, closer to the lid. Also going to pack that shade on the outer corner. It looks weird mixed with that crease shade. I don't know why. Maybe there's something left over on that brush that like changed the color a little bit. My face is so red, and I swear it has a little to do with the drinking, just a little, but mainly because it's like really hot in here. These like lights add like 10 or 15 degrees, so like I got boob sweat going on. All right, I think I'm going to just take this cream shade and just apply that to the inner part of the line. Like I said, I want to keep this look matte because it's something I don't normally do. So... Definitely not super bright. Oh, there's a little more on that eye. Now that I say that, of course. Mm. 
this particular shade is um, much more powdery than the other ones. Um, so there's a lot more like kickback and stuff, but it's a five dollar palette. Who cares? All right, let's go back in with that red shade a little more and blend those colors together. All right, whatever. We are going to move on to face. And for my primer, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer. I really like this one and it does give your face a really nice glow underneath your foundation. Um, I'm not sure how this works if your skin's super oily. Mine's kind of, uh, I have combination skin. Um, but I don't find that it like increases any kind of oilness, oiliness on my skin or anything like that. So, like I said, it does give that like, definitely a subtle glow. All right, and for foundation, I am just using my Photo Focus Soft Ivory. Um, I was gonna get a little bit of a lighter shade because I feel like this one isn't quite the right undertone. It's a little yellow for me, but I didn't. So we'll see how this works with the um, concealer color. Ooh, the last time I used this was in my Using My Fingers challenge, which I'll link up above. But, uh, I'm using a brush today. Did not enjoy using my fingers. I'm just using my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. Let's go into concealer. Like I said, this is in the shade Fair Beige. Let's do one eye at a time because I'm not entirely, ooh, not much comes off on the applicator. I don't like that. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Like I have to go in so many times just to get like my normal amount. Ooh, not a fan of that. And I'm just going to use a dry sponge because I didn't dampen it. I do really like the consistency. I like the color of that. I do not like the applicator. Um, I have to dip it back in like three times to get the amount of concealer that I normally would use with any other concealer. Um, and it does kind of have that smell, but not as strong as the foundation. I do enjoy the color a lot though. I am going to highlight with this as well. It's a pretty good color um, for me and for this foundation I'm wearing for the shade. It does seem like it dries down fairly quickly so I am glad I did one eye at a time. <clears throat> Okay, so like I said, I don't have a setting powder. I 
have um, their contouring palette, which I'm not going to show you on camera because the contouring shade, which I'm not using today, is busted um, and it'll get everywhere. So I'm going to see if I can maybe use the other shade, the highlighting shade. Not too bad. Alright, I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Um, the eyeliner pencil, or eyeliner. The eyebrow pencil is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. Um, it's one of the ones that are shaped like that. Not a big fan of it, not a big fan of the formula. Um, and I literally did them in like 30 seconds because I do not care today. And I feel like if you're watching this this far into the video, you're not here for my eyebrows, you're here for me. And I love you. Let's move on. We are going to go into the lower lash line. Um, so I'm in a few makeup groups on Facebook. I don't know if any of you guys are, but a few of them in. I was in a bunch more where there was like more people, like they were super populated, like a couple hundred thousand maybe. And like I had to leave because the drama in those groups. I'm like, aren't we here because of all the makeup? Like I, it was, I'm in another group. Um, I'm gonna link the page below. It's called Makeup Madness, and it's a fairly small group. Um, but like we're all there because either we love makeup, we want to learn more about makeup, and it's not like competitive or weird like some of those other groups. Um, so I really like it. Um, and there's like some really sweet people in there, so I'm definitely gonna link it below. Yeah, some of those groups I'm just like, you don't think really highly of yourselves. And I'm just taking that maroon shade um, and smudging that on the outer corner below my lash line. Taking that about three quarters of the way in like I normally do. Yeah, what I really love about the group is like no one is perfect like and we're all still learning and I don't know I don't feel afraid to ask questions because I don't know like sometimes in other groups it's like it's just a weird vibe okay so I do have uh, a wet and eyeliner I actually just bought it because I didn't own me um let me open it this is just a retractable one the black is the black it's just a regular eyeliner and i'm just going to tight line with this kind of wish i got another shade too maybe like a brown but i will oh my god i hate the plastic on these types of things okay um it looks like this it looks exactly like the shape of like their lip liners This is my first time trying this, so obviously I don't know if it's long wearing, but it like glided on really easily without me having to like really drag it, which I feel like a lot of drugstore eyeliners are like that. This cap, well, there we go. Anyways, but I didn't have to like drag it really hard, which is nice. Alright, let's do mascara real quick. I do have a lot of mascara I just purchased. Their Mega Volume Mascara. Pretty simple. Like it, this out of all of their products feels the cheapest, um, like as far as packaging goes. I have used this once already and it was, it was okay. Um, it's one of the wands that I kind of like, I kind of like these bigger, fatter wands.
You know, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it'll do. My eyebrows don't look terrible considering how quickly I did them. All right, we're gonna move on to bronzer. And this is one of my favorite bronzers. This happens to be wet and wild. It is the Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. Yeah. Let's go in with that. Little baby hair is driving me nuts. This one doesn't have a smell to it, I'm just curious. It's like obviously Physicians Formula and then my Essence Bronzer. Both have those like tropical vibe type smells or sun like whatever this color I do need to build up depending on the color of my foundation this foundation's a little darker than some of my other ones so my physician's formula bronze would probably look better because it is a deeper color I bought it specifically for this video. Pearlescent pink. It's like this. Comes with one of those brushes that I have no clue what you would actually use this for ever because it's the weirdest shape. Yeah, not using that. I'm going to use my normal found or my normal blush brush, which is just this. I don't even know where I got it. Let's just dip it. In. it does have some sparkle? It looks like. I don't know if that'll come off, but. Ooh. It is pretty even too. I'm glad I went in with a little bit of a lighter hand. It's a really pretty color. It's not actually quite as dark as I was expecting it to come off as. I picked up more that time. It's pretty though. Look at my 80s vibe going all the way back to my hairline. That I bring that back. I'm gonna blow on that a little bit. It's pretty. Okay, for highlight. Two wet and wild highlights. I'm probably gonna use. I'll use. I have this one in Blossom Glow, but I think I'm gonna use this loose one, which is I'm so lit. It is their loose highlighter. Like I don't know that I will. I don't know how anyone would ever go through an entire loose highlighter because there's so much in it, and like I barely, like barely put any in there. I'm gonna use a different brush because I can't find the one I normally use. This is just a Morphe brush. I I don't know what number. I haven't used this one in a while. A lot, but go big or go home. That's how I feel about highlight. Alright, so that was a lot, like I said, but I'm just gonna blend her on out. So pretty though. Like dang. I'm 
know what? I'm going to use this Reminder Corner Highlight in the brow bone because I forgot. I don't even know where my normal brush room is, but... liquid cat suit in the shade give me mocha i actually just bought mocha licious which is like just a bullet lipstick they sell and Robbie christy loves it and i was like i mean yeah i have to get that and it's really pretty she uses it for her butthole lips color. Alright, we are going to set the face and that'll finish her off. Okay, so you guys know how I love the Wet Photo Photofocus 3-in-1 Coconut Primer Set for Fresh Water. I'm almost out of this. And I was like, okay, I'll buy another one, but I couldn't find coconut at the couple stores I went to. So I'm like, okay, I'll get the cucumber. The smell of this. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of cucumbers. Like, I don't hate them. But I don't mind coconut scented or cucumber scented things most times. It's so bad. But I'm going to use it because I bought it. But Jesus Christ. fan of rose but I love coconut I should have just waited until I found it anyways this is a full face of wet and wild products I hope you guys enjoyed this video why do I always look at the screen I bet that looks crazy in my videos anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it hit the like button if you did don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye